So I'd often heard that bees huddle together for warmth in a ball in winter, but I had no real idea what that would actually look like. So when I was back in the UK, I was traveling, so I didn't have that much fancy kit with me. But as it turns out, I did have the thermal camera. So when I cracked open the hive, indeed, you could see straight away that it was warm. Now, as a general rule, bees don't fly below about 10 degrees Celsius. And on this day, it was just above freezing. So I was actually really surprised just how quickly the bees went into attack mode. Now, it was actually quite hard for me to operate the camera with these big gloves on. But when I got back and took a look at the footage, I found out that the bees had this sort of weird temperature profile to them, where the bottoms were sort of cold, the middles were hot, and their heads were somewhere in between. Now, it turns out the camera can just record video, which is enough for certain things, but it'll also record radiometric data, which allows you to do this sort of post-filming analysis. Now, sure, it takes up quite a lot of space, but whatever. So the next day I went back and this time I had the camera focused up really close and recorded the radiometric data and the results were fascinating. Again, the bees were actually pretty active considering there was ice around. And when you pause the video, you realize that the middle section of the bee, the thorax, is actually about body temperature, which just completely stunned me. I mean, these tiny creatures, which weigh about a tenth of a gram, the middle part is about 30 degrees Celsius. That's hot summer type temperatures. Now, the head was kind of hot. It was about 25 degrees, which again is summer type temperatures. And their bottoms, they, the abdomen, was comparatively chilly by comparison at about 15 degrees Celsius. Now, the other thing that was stunning was the temperature profile seemed to be very constant from one bee to the next. Now, sadly, I was actually on a schedule at the time, so I didn't have much time to do anything more detailed. But I can give you some interesting speculation. Now, it was my dad who told me that the bees huddled together in a big ball for warmth in winter. And I think he got this because one year one of the beehives froze in winter. And that's how he found them the next spring. Further, they actually froze to death in a hive with a load of honey in the top. Now, the basic construction of a beehive is the lower section is where the queen is kept. And that's where she lays the eggs in the comb. And because you don't want her going in and laying eggs in all with all the honey in the top of the hive. So in the middle somewhere, there's a board called a queen excluder. So, there you go. That's what the queen excluder looks like in, in place. So that stops the queen coming up into the top. And because the queen can't get up into the top, she can't lay any brood in the comb up here. Which means that you only get honey in this top section here. So absolutely fantastic, because that means all you got to then do is take the top of the hive and you've got all the honey. So what he thought happened was the bees stuck with the queen no matter what. And because the queen couldn't go through the queen excluder, basically the ball of bees had actually sat there in the bottom of the hive and essentially starved to death in a hive full of honey. Now, I'd never seen any of this, but my first thoughts were, well, these must have been the bees on the outside of the ball and they were just sticking their bottoms out and that's why they're a little colder than the rest of them. And of course, when you open the hive up, those will be the first bees out of the top. But if you think about it a bit more, that would mean only the bees on the outside came up. And the bees seem to be all a little too constant in temperature for that. Then comes the next idea. Well, bees breathe, so to speak, through tubes in the abdomen. So basically, that's going to cool the abdomen somewhat. And actually, gases like oxygen dissolve better when the temperature is lower. So maybe there's part of that to it. And the middle section contains the flight muscle, so it seems reasonable to assume that that's the hot section because they're using those muscles to generate the heat, either by flexing them or by flapping their wings. Bottom line is, I really don't know. But it is fascinating to see how these three sections of the bees are at three distinct different temperatures. And God, yes, I would love to go back and actually do something more detailed on this in the future. But I can tell you that this isn't like all insects are warm-blooded like this. Because it turns out I have a spider that lives on my windowsill. So I thought, well, I'll see what that looks like with a thermal camera. And yeah, he doesn't show up at all on the infrared. Indeed, you can even see when I blow on him that he actually heats up a bit because of my warm breath. So yeah, I'll just leave you some cute footage of hot bees in cold winter.